book, there's a lot of your own story that gets weaved through it, which I think is interesting. One that was that I've heard about you that's really telling is the idea that, I mean, you understood r rape as a weapon before you understood so many other things that a kid should understand, and bombs were a big part of your life. I mean, so how has that shaped you? I think it shaped me hugely, but you know what's interesting is that I never faced it or thought about it till I was more than an adult, let's say, uh, till about 10 or 15 years ago, really. I never thought about it because my parents had been traumatized by the war. My mother had been traumatized by the war. She had hid in basements and was terrified because the, Hong Kong was an open city after the Japanese conquered it. And, um, you know, all our goods and, and everything were sold in the street. Everybody's apartments were looted and things, and, she, the, and the population was made to stand in the street and look at, at the humiliation that they had gone through. And they, and there were all, there was, my mother did not know a single person who had stayed in the city, because most people sort of fled or went into basements, uh, who had not been molested in some way by the occupying troops. And so we had an incident that happened when we were hiding in a basement waiting for our, my father to find us again after the surrender. And I always wondered about that. I always wondered because the Japanese had broken into the, to the basement and were looking for women. And my mother had been dressed as an old woman and wearing rimless glasses and so on. She was a very beautiful woman. Uh, and I always wondered, did they, ever, did they tell me the truth about that story or did something happen? And it's very interesting because I have, uh, and my father, I asked about it when he was 92 years old and he said if anything had happened like that to your mother uh, she would have committed suicide